Now it's time to paint. So I just talk briefly about how you, your teacher, if you are a group of six students working on a group of desks, uh, your group, your teacher will need two of these ice uh, cube trays per group, and we need two of these per group. So each group will have two water containers, two trays of colors, and each student will have a medium-sized paintbrush and a small for details. It's also important that we have the, the racks on the table. So that will be actually on the center of the table to share. I'd like to show you two alternatives. So I have this one here that has been underpainted with um, white paint with a, a, a big brush. So when you underpaint, you paint very fast. So it's important to uh, use a big brush like that. I'm not going to paint it all because it will take a lot of time. And then this is already uh, dry, so I'll show you how to paint with this paint here. Let's start by red. If you want to paint the base red, look how beautiful this paint is. And as I said, it goes a long way because it's a bit runny, but not terribly runny, as you can see. It got a beautiful coverage. Now, if we like to mix a, a color, I got something here called, we call it mixing paper, that could be any scrap paper, including newspaper. And I just carefully, I'll apply some other colors here to mix a pink. So that pink will go probably here, like that. So it's such a, a beautiful paint. Paint on the side there. Painting carefully, very carefully. All the, we shouldn't be able to see any white because if you want to do some white, you can go back and um, apply some white bits. My water container here for washing the brush here in the water, my paint my rag, so I'll make sure that I have a clean paint, paintbrush, sorry, and I'll paint the other side a little bit here. This yellow looks good for that, so I'll paint that while the other side dries. So I'm painting with a medium-sized brush. Wash it again, and I like to mix a color, so I'll pick some white first. And if you want to keep your color clean, wash your paintbrush, wipe it clean here, and I'll probably use this blue to make a nice blue here. And paint those things blue. And it looks very nice because it's different. It's contrasting from the, from the yellow one there and that. So it's all about thinking of very different colors. Now, when the, your colors, the big areas that you are painting, are, you know, the idea is to paint all the big areas first and then you can create details. So with a small paintbrush and using a dark color, I create some, some details here. The, the, the paintbrush is, uh, is new, so it's a bit, um, it's not very soft. So I'll I have to use, I think I'll have to use a better brush because that paintbrush is, is new. With a, do you see the difference there of the paintbrush being soft? So it's better to put the new paintbrushes in water overnight before you actually use them. So that is applying details over the other color. Always contrasting colors. Contrasti contrasting color means different. So if, as I said, if you want to use white, why not we paint white? So this, this small paintbrush is always going to be for details. And as you go and paint and keep painting, keep painting until you finish, I won't finish on camera because it will take too long. This is the other alternative. We have uh, this one made out of old calvo, but it hasn't been underpainted with white. So let's see how this paint is going to paint directly on the cardboard. So 
Um, I think I like to start with the green, and I like to have green feet, but this green is a bit too dark. So probably using the other paintbrush, just give it a wipe, come back and put some white on the side there, like that, and mix it. So you see how I, this is called unlocking the color. The color is very dark. You don't know how is that going to work, but by adding white, I change that green into a nice, very nice minty green like that. And as you can see, the paint again has a beautiful coverage. It, this is painted uh, straight on the cardboard without the, under, the white under paint. So beautiful feet for this dragon. Another color. Uh, I think I like to paint the tails. I'm not going to paint the whole uh, dragon because it's going to be too long. So this green here, I like to change it again. So with my clean brush, I'll pick up some yellow and it will give me a different green to paint here. So there. Having a lot of fun. And as you can see, your parents will realize and your teachers will realize how good this paint is and the coverage. And as I said, um, a, ho a, a situation like this, um, an ice cube like that will be enough to paint this project for a group of six children. Now that's the green there. There you are. Can you see the green there? Now, what about the face? I'll go back to that. And what a beautiful blue. These colors are absolutely magic. My students used to call the magic paint to this paint because they can achieve the most amazing colors with this paint. So that is the face. And again, if you would like to do some textures, some patterns, when you finish painting your big colors like that, that green, you can paint some details. And this tail is going to have beautiful black spots this is a, a dragon with a green, a spotty tail, beautiful tail. And you can do, if you like, some with a small brush for a small details, some outlines like that. And you can create some eyes. It's hard for me to paint this way, but that's to give you an idea how you can do a construction, a, a sculpture, a construction, using your imagination, looking at the work of an artist if you like to, like we did, uh, we, we looked at Picasso a bit, but it's mainly using your imagination, using this, uh, learning how to join these bits of cardboard or timber, and using this fantastic paint it's called chromacryl concentrate, beautiful paint. And the glue that I use, again, I'll give you a look, is chroma 2. It's like PVA glue, it's non-toxic, it's perfect for um, the classroom. And this is the finished one that has been painted first, the big areas, as you can see, the red, the pink, the browny color on the on the bottom on the base and this aqua sort of a greeny blue and then after that all the details all the details here the lines the repetitions of circles here the, the spots here the lines there all with this paint called chromacryl fluid concentrated is absolutely magic and believe me my students call it the magic paint so this is the end of our first video on construction, how to build a 
character or a structure like this and how to paint it. This one is finished, it's all painted. This is uh, uh, still in the process of being painted. This is the timber one, and this is the one made out of cardboard. So there are two alternatives. Uh, if you enjoy this and you are interested in doing a construction project, please visit our website, bravaartpress.com, and also visit our channel on youtube.com. The next video is about what do you do with this before they go home or you put them up on display. We're going to do a painting on paper. See you next time. Thank you.